What's happening my Call of Duty refugees? So today we got the new FPS challenger and it is completely free. Let's check it out. Is it bussing or you're gonna catch an erectile dysfunction? I mean, nobody knows for real. Bruh. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new and let's check it out, man. But the last of the franchise introductions we saw was in 2009, 15 Damn. years ago. Bussin? That is until recently. We're finally starting to see a large number of gameplay reveals, trailers and details about the game with even playable demos upcoming that I think you should know about. So today uh -huh. we're gonna dive into what it's all about and if it might but i gotta say like these soldiers definitely need like a lot more protein that i agree be with, the next like... fps for you so drop your thoughts as we go along do me the biggest favor and drop a hero shooter is my ass but like and subscribe yeah like on the video to let me know if you'd like to see more delta force coverage as well as just to help the video out in the algorithm with a switch to multi-game coverage here Damn. and of course make sure to subscribe for more yo that is crazy like if espresso is like switching up content you know call of duty is down bad because this guy Call of Duty all day, every day. He lives Call of Duty, he breeds Call of Duty, he eats Call of Duty, and he also sometimes, hey, sucks. You know what I mean, right? Like, if Espresso is on this one, that's crazy, bro. Or content I love like it. this. I love Anyways, it. let's jump into it. So, right, Delta Force. It. For the last 15 years, again, we have not seen one of these. So, what's it going to be like here upcoming? Uh, well, officially 15. speaking, the Delta Force team describes it as a new cross platform tactical shooter where you'll play the role of an operator tasked with accomplishing extreme missions Man. throughout precise tactical planning. And. Man. Yo, okay, first negative hero shooter, but still I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. What if like the hero shooter is done good? I don't know. Thoughts, guys? I I've been reading some comments on it. A lot of people are positive and a lot of people are also negative with like some stuff. Some people are saying that if it's free, then it's not for me because it's going to be hacker paradise. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's, if it's free, it's for me. Used to be a thing of the past right now, I feel and like. Applications. But in reality, if you break that down a little further, the entire game package is going to be something that kind of has a little bit of everything for everyone. That is, assuming it all works out, as it seems like they're pushing for. Where you're going to have large-scale PvP, an Damn. extraction game mode, and a campaign mode. The large-scale PvP mode. regular multiplayer is going to be called Havoc Warfare, where it's large teams on massive maps featuring military vehicles, tanks, helicopters and of course your standard infantry gameplay so they're sort of standard approach to multiplayer something comparable maybe to call of duty's ground war in the recent years to battlefield's conquest mm. stuff like honestly it does have like a lot of modern warfare 19 modern warfare 19 and battlefield 3 vibes and i'm saying that in a good way i, I hope skill based matchmaking isn't too crazy graphically speaking it don't look that bad though it kind of bussing though is it bussing is it bussing uh in your opinion i don't know and, and and do you think it's gonna be a call of duty killer now that's like a you know big claim though and i don't think it's gonna be i don't think it's gonna be the way i see it i don't think it's gonna be but if it comes out you never know man it might be like it might bang like paul worlds it might bang like uh hell divers and if that is the case i want this to be the case though i i really hope it is though i i hope it becomes like the cod killer but it's it, it, it doesn't feel like it, like guys. that now in their initial marketing assets but back in august when the game was announced they also did announce a deathmatch style game mode was sort of in that plan but we'll see if that actually is still attached to it once they the game comes too? out but what? what we know right now is this is going to be a Brand. larger combat zone you'll also notice that in they even done destruction holy crap they even done destruction. This is such a slap on Battlefield face, dog. That's such a yikes on Battlefield's end, though. Like, I, I, I grew up with Battlefield. I grew up with Call of Duty. I love both of these franchises, man. But, but the fact that every game under the sun is having destruction, that's crazy. I love that. I love to see that, man. I love to see that. Battlefield needs to make a massive comeback too, though. Like in the gameplay that has been shown off already, there's that large scale combat, but also players have abilities akin to other hero shooters. I immediately think of Black Ops 3 with that futuristic setting as well, but I suppose you could also consider things like Overwatch, Apex, you name it. Black Ops 3 was 2065, if I'm not mistaken. This one is 2035, but yeah, I, I mean, near futuristic is, I, I'm cool with it, but hero shooter, I don't know about You'll that one. You'll have specific though. class selections where you can dive into four classes, assault, sniper, engineer, and medic each with unique roles to fulfill but that's your standard multiplayer experience and honestly that's only one pillar of the game so far they even got choppers actually there's that hazard operations the formation of three-man squads with classes gear maps routes and all to adapt on the fly where you're hunting for resources Damn. and rare loot around the world to outwit enemy ai and yeah okay it, it bustin it bustin guys it, it bustin other player squads where you ultimately want to 
extract to claim the rewards you looted or picked up along the way. So this is their second pillar of the game, which is an extraction mode, kind of combining again those abilities. The Bumble club. Bumble club. Come on, guys! Like, okay, extraction shooters are odd, but like, can a brother get like a normal MP2, bro? Like, I, I want bigger battles, bigger maps, yay, okay? Bigger boondocks sometimes is good, but sometimes, like, you gotta think about, like, people that love, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, fast, uh, people that love uh, fast-paced gameplay and uh, getting kills fast, though. I really hope they, it's not just an extraction shooter, bruh, because if it's, like, uh, uh, Grey Zone is coming out, that's gonna be extraction shooter, too, though. You know what I'm saying? I know there's an audience, extraction, people love it. Uh, and that's cool though if it is but like it needs to be more than just an extraction shooter feel me it needs to have like tdm as well free for all uh, and have like uh normal matches too like i wouldn't i wouldn't mind extraction shooter uh also on the side as well though but like those gameplay loops you might become accustomed to within the standard multiplayer experience it and then they have one. campaign yeah. mode which is black hawk down a remaster of the original delta force black hawk down story with the iconic oh, scenes where you can rediscover mogadishu immerse yourself in that first person Person retelling of Delta Operation with classic characters, both mysterious and iconic, coming back here for this. This one in particular, this part, I think is probably going to be a big focal. Whoa! Yo, that's sick though. Because I mean, do know for the fact that Call of Duty 2024 is also going to be having Moga Dishu, right? Like we heard from the leaks, it's going to be set in the 90s. Yeah, 90s. This one is 2035. It's going to be on the 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 the, 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 the Gulf War. Yeah, Gulf War, and it's going to be called Black Ops Gulf War. Yeah. Uh, X Define is also coming out as well. When exactly they, I, I'm also hearing that they they're delaying X Define once again. Might be fake rumors, fake news. I'm not sure. So you didn't hear from me. Don't quote me on that one. But right now there's rumors going around like that that they're also delaying it. Which I mean they have been delaying it for the past year. So it's like uh, I mean not really shocked right now. So X Define Call of Duty 2024, the next Battlefield game. Uh, coming out by the end of 2025 and black ops apparently is gonna have mocha issues so they're doing it way, way earlier than them i guess point for the realistic players the people that have played delta force in the past because the core mp experience surely is a departure from that classic delta force game a near future setting hero abilities and things like that whereas Man. previously well it was not that and well of course all of that and for free that Hero abilities WRL. What we thinking, guys? What we thinking? I feel like that's the biggest L right now. But it can be done good. Not saying that it might be done good, and I hope it is. I mean, right now they're gonna have, but it's like, man, every game is like hero shooter. It's like we're not far away from it having a friendly UAV online. It's probably gonna have like a friendly UAV online, <laughs> especially. <laughs> Yo, what are the odds they're gonna have friendly UAV online, especially? I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, I'm joking, man. I'm joking. That will be a draw. I and hope yeah, not. Free. Free to play is going to make this, I think, something that opens it up to a huge audience initially. It's said right now that it's going to be on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. It is Chinese? Channel number one, channel number one though unspecified on which platform. I'm personally going to take a guess and say it's next gen only, so PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X, but who knows. But then they're also releasing on mobile as well. And what's interesting is while this game is being developed by the Timmy Group, a subsidiary of Tencent, which we'll touch on in just a second with that aspect. Yo, honestly, I was going to say, like, it feels like that this was, this game was being made by, like, a Chinese company, and I was going to say Tencent, okay, makes a whole lot of sense right now. Uh, graphically, it's not bad, though. And to be honest, though, like, I'm not saying that in a negative way. Like, if it's being... Uh, at this point, I I have more, what what's this called, trust in, like, a Japanese-Chinese company than, like, a Western company with, like, Sweet Baby Inc., the woke devs, or the woke, he's strong, independent, they them. I do not know how I identify as, you know, seconds that don't even know, like, what gender they are, right? Like, how else they're gonna make a game, right? So, at this point, I have more trust in, like, a Chinese dev than, like, a Western dev. 110%. Not saying that this is gonna be a banger not saying that it's gonna be the worst game imaginable I, I i think it's gonna be like in the middle personally but i hope it actually turns out to be good because that means call of duty refugee is gonna have something to play right but for those agree, familiar disagree? with a game called like i don't know call of duty like mobile timmy developed that experience now i'm not particularly well versed in mobile gaming but i feel like i see a lot of the highlights per se from media clips and other things that make their way out of my timelines from cod mobile and not a whole ton of the this game sucks type of things 
So maybe that's just my luck where I've somehow avoided it. But also when you're tackling something with such a wide scale caliber, having a team that managed one of the largest mobile FPS experiences out there, I don't think it's a bad idea. So we'll see how it works out, but I'm sure there could be worse candidates for this. And also the game is going to be crossplay, which I'm interested to see what happens yeah! with this. If it needs to also have the option to turn off the crossplay as well, man, because the PC hackers, they, they, they would be they, they would be rubbing their hands right now. They would be like, another game to actually spread our diseases to. Because the PC players, I, I I don't mean like PC players, my bad. I, mean, I was a little bit too aggressive there. Let me show you some gishish. I mean like the hackers that happen to be PC players, okay? You see, there's a difference though. Not all PC players are bad, okay? Let me actually bring you back in, okay? Hopefully you're feeling good about that, my brother, if you play on the PC. Nothing against you, but you know for the fact that there are a lot of lost brothers on the PC that cheat, and for them it's gonna be like another game to spread their diseases to. You feel what I'm saying? They're going to have any barriers like will mobile be able to play with pc and console will there be just console to console cross play pc to console we'll have console to wait only, and see. but console anyways only. that's all I, I hope there's an option for console only as well but guys click on this video on the screen because we had uh, apparently some good news about call of duty 2024 Bruh. the leaks are looking good as well on the left though i had a massive video and we had some good news we also had some bad news apparently uh yeah, check both of these out and I'll see you right there.